What's up guys and welcome back to part 2 of our playthrough of Fighting Fantasy Scorpion Swamp. In the first part we were trying to figure out our way around how this game works because the map is basically set into segments and sections where you can keep retreading ground and finding new things or going back to scenarios when you have items I guess. We didn't get too far into it but we do have a map now so I'm going to show you that very quickly. We've been writing, a, drawing this map. As we scratch. go. Yeah, we've done a little retooling. We've made it a little bit clearer to look at, but hopefully things are a bit smoother than last time. So uh, we're going to just get straight into it and continue from where we left, which was, I think, page 53. Uh, we, all we know is that we were in section eight. So let's just get straight yeah, into it. Yeah, he's a really... I love this guy already. I don't nice. know who it okay. is, but I really he's, hope he's a good guy. He's sitting on his mushroom tip. <laughs> <laughs> as you... As you follow the path southward, you hear the croaking of a thousand frogs, tiny ones, huge ones, and all sizes in between. The path leads into a clearing dotted with little pools. This is clearing eight. If you've already been here, turn to 329. If you've not been here before, keep reading. At first, all you see is a number of huge mushrooms. Then you realise there is a man sitting on one of them. He is very short but stout, with snapping black eyes and a wide mouth. Around his neck there hangs a silver amulet in the shape of a frog, and sitting on the ground on either side of him are two huge green bullfrogs. I was just going to say like his name, and it's just told me what his actual name is there. What did you think his name was? His actual Master name? of the Frogs. Or oh. Frogmaster, because he has an amulet of frogs, he's controlling them. All. Spoiler alert. He is, I am the Master of Frogs, he greets you. What brings you to my home? If you greet him in return, turn to 13. If you attack him, turn to page 62. Let's greet him. We're always going to choose yeah. the... Do you want to draw a frog? Oh, yeah. On Thank section you. 8. Uh, um, me... Yeah. Okay. Got to be careful. Yeah, I have to... Um, so let's greet him. Turn to 13. I'll read that. And draw a frog. I am a fighter on a quest, you reply. You, Your ring... Is not a warning you of evil, so you feel safe speaking to the master nice. of frogs. Are you in the service of Selator, Grimslade, or remember Poomchucker? Poom we are in the service of Mr. Poomchucker. So turn to three seven six. Very flat frog. Three seven six. Yes. I hope he's a, a fan of the Poom Chicken. Poom Chicken. Poom Chicken. I definitely think he is. You tell him that you are only trying to get to Willowbend and back. A look of surprise appears on his froggy face. Oh yeah, so if anyone didn't see the first stream, our little like mini quest, no it's our quest, is to find a place called Willowbend and yes. map out our way there. And, and then bring it to someone at the end, yeah, right? Yeah, take the map back to Mr. Poomchucker. A look of surprise appears on his froggy face. Willow Ben lies far to the north and west, he says. You mm -hmm. seem like a nice sort, so I will tell you something. Do not follow the Will-O-Wisp, or your life will be forfeit. Now, good day, I have work to do. Abruptly, he vanishes. His frogs croak loudly and hop away. You look around the clearing, but find nothing at all. The only path leads back to the north. You turn around and head back towards the place where you met the swan forks. Oh, no. Hopefully, the, I think we killed them so. Did we? Oh yeah, we fought them, didn't we? Will we bend or won't we bend? <laughs> oh, Depends God. on how much gold is involved. Um, right, so we need to go northwest. So we did head quite east. So we're heading back to the magnet area on the map, yeah. right? So three, two, three. What is a will o' wisp? Is that like a floaty light? It's almost like things in Skyrim that shoot stuff like. You're in the clearing where you met the Swamp Orcs. If you slew them, turn to 309. If you did not slay them, turn to 281. So I'm guessing if you did escape, you'd still have to fight them again yeah. coming back. So 309. Cool. You have a choice of three exits from this clearing. Mm -hmm. Will you go north, south, or west? So we've been south. Mm -hmm. We need to go north and west. Yeah, we've been so west, unless that's a different west. We haven't, west that's a map. different west. Is it? Yeah. Oh, so should we follow the map direction Ooh, to Willow? Or should we go north and then try and get west? Yeah, or it's north you... and west, so should yeah. we just go north? Uh, or should we go west? Uh, I don't know. I feel like west, we might find something more valuable. Should we go west and then we'll... we'll... At least we'll know if it is yeah. 26 or not. Because so. then I can just draw an arrow down and at least we'll link the map yeah. together. 
Okay, so what's the wet like three eight? So much. Yeah, I like the the map system actually. Three eight eight. After a short walk, you enter a pleasant grassy clearing. Oh, so oh, we ha yeah, we have been there. Should we? Right, I tell you what then. Do we? Can we go back or not? Have you lost the page? No, I've got still got the page. Just because. Where's this at? Oh, where am I? Hold on, let me check the map still on the screen. Yeah, I'm still good. Oh, it's the crop's gone. Done that. That's my bad. I did. I dragged something. Hold on. Just move your hand off the map. Um, and then I can just do the arrow when we know it's. Oh, I don't know what's happened before. Where is it? He zoomed out, I think. Stuck that. I don't think you clicked on it. No, it's gone. It's dead. Map's dead. Oh, you're on that screen. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Just undo first because you made a mark now. Right, anyway, we're going west from there. 3 8. No, 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 no not going no. west. We're going so north. we've already been there, so we're going north. So that goes back to the crab grass. Mm hmm. Yeah. I think it's probably just the exact same place, isn't it? Yeah. Just because I'd already drawn a line, so yeah. I didn't want to mess my map up. You come across. Uh, come across. Come up. <laughs> you come upon a small overgrown clearing. You're in clearing three. So three is north of there. Yeah. We've not been to three yet. Nope. You look around, you see nothing. There are three exits. Will you go. South, east, or west? We don't want to go south. Nope. So, should we go west and then we're heading in the right direction? Yeah, at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll go west to 118. We do like to make things a lot more complicated for ourselves, but hopefully <laughs> at the expense of your entertainment. Oh no! Here's a picture. Sorry, I haven't even showed you yet. It's a scorpion. You can yeah. see that ahead of you, two other paths join yours in a small clearing. You are in clearing 13. If you've been here before, 10 to 3 or 3. Uh, you feel a prickling sensation around your brass ring. Not the scorpions on our ring. Looking down, you see dozens of small scorpions scuttling towards you. Test your luck. If you're lucky, 10 to page 70. If you are unlucky, 10 to 182. Okay, so I'll take uh, this. Um, clearing 13. Yep. Uh, do we normally take it in terms of luck? It's one dice, isn't it? Yeah, you can have this one because I read it. Or oh, is it two dice? It's two dice, isn't it? I thought. Uh, oh yeah, it's two dice. Two dice. So I'll roll my dice while you're uh, drawing this. Um, Just want to draw a scorpion. scorpion. Okay. So we have a luck of ten. I rolled a two, so we basically got lucky anyway. Okay. Is so I don't. Quick? I don't need to roll. No. That's definitely a scorpion. Alia Ayakta S. I have no idea what that means. Say that again. Alia Aikat Aakta Est. Where have you got that from? The chat. Tomcat put it on. Oh. The dice, dice is falling. Is that what that means? Where did that come from? It's exotic. Tomcat for you. Okay, so uh, we've basically got lucky with the dice roll there. So if you're lucky, turn to page 70. I thought you were reading off the book. The book? Oh, it's no, no. well known no, no. Latin proverb. Like carpet, carpet DM. Carpet DM. Your reactions are quick. You have time to decide how to deal with the scorpions. Will you stomp on them and strike with your sword? Cast the fire spell. Leap over them for safety. To safety, does that mean we're automatically going to be safe? I wouldn't. I wouldn't jump. It. I would stomp them, but it, we run the risk of getting bitten either way. We can't so use a. I would normally say no, use a fire spell, but spell. we've used our fire spell already. Stamp on them and strike with your sword. Leap over them to safety. What if we have to come back there? They're really it's... small. Mm, yeah, I suppose if we, we could kill them. We're what really, if we get stabbed? Yeah, we're running the risk of getting poisoned there, but we'll probably lose a skill point if we get poisoned. Oh, what do you guys reckon? Should we jump over them or should we start stomping and, and swiping? Yeah. Are we wearing boots or sandals? Flip flops. Perfect. <laughs> what do you reckon? In real life, what would you do? Right? You've got a sword. Yeah. There's little, loads of little scorpions in front of you. Would you start stomping on them or would you try and jump over them? 
I think I, I would, would try and jump over them. them. Yeah, because there's loads of them. Like you get stomp, you stomp one of them, one of them's gonna sting you. Should we dart? Should we try and jump we, over yeah, them? Yeah, okay. And hopefully not fall over. Okay. Oh, Three seven no. seven. Should I keep my finger on the page? Yeah, go on then. We will have we to. We haven't cheated yet. Page. No, we've died once. And no one's had the honour of seeing our, our death screen yet, so we'll see what happens. Did you say 337? No, I said 3, it was 87. 377. 377. Seven. I say that wasn't the right page. <laughs> oh. Roll two dice. If the total is less than or equal to your stamina, you jump over them. If the total is greater than your stamina, you do not leap quite far enough. Well, we've got 14 stamina, so we're all in the clear there. Let's just roll a dice yeah. to see if the dice comes working. It is. It is. Ooh, that would have been close. Um, if you're still... Oh, you do not like... Well, no, no, no. Okay, so we're fine. Turn to 319. <clears throat> so we're still going west then, I guess. Uh, we haven't left the area yet. Yeah. Hurriedly, you choose an exit. Will you go north, east, or west? North, east, west. So east is going to be back to 3, isn't it? Um... We can go north or we can go west from 13. We need to go both, so maybe east? Not east. Oh no, west? Yeah, Westward? It, I suppose the idea is that we put, we get a full map going and we know exactly where to go. And yeah, even if we do die. It's riskier, but... Yeah. Should we go west again? Yeah, westward. westward. We still haven't got the alert for westward. We don't have enough stream deck buttons. We need a bigger stream uh, deck. 66. Sounds like a Jaws quote. What, we need a bigger stream deck? We're gonna need a bigger stream deck, yeah. Is that where bigger boats from? Yeah, we're gonna need a bigger boat. You enter a rather sixty six. Mm-hmm. You enter a rather pleasant glade surrounded by gnarled oaks. You are in clearing nine. If you've been here before, ten to one nine two, da da da. Leaning, Big deck energy. <laughs> leaning against a tree eating his lunch is a small cheerful man in dark clothes. Oh no, he looks like a leprechaun. Oh, what was the guy called from the other one that left one out? Like, bit us in our sleep. This is the, the guy with his legs up spread. He doesn't look like a leprechaun. He looks more like a... No, he, he looks like... He, he does look he's like got a leprechaun. A leprechaun he's got some cheese! He's got the dream he's cheese! He's got the dream cheese! We need to kill him at all costs <laughs> and take his cheese. Hey, guys. How are you finding this one thought so far? Really hey, enjoying it. So yeah, I'm we, loving we this. We love the whole um, retreading your steps in the segment, so it's actually really good. And it's good to replay, well, not replay, but if we die, and we've got our map, it's good for us to Get speed run, basically. So. And also, there are three quests, not just one. Yeah, so there could be multiple playthroughs of this at some point in the next 15 years. Okay, where was he? Uh, leaning against a tree, eating his lunch, is a small, cheerful man in dark clothes. His food is in a picnic basket. I love how we went on this big description of the left corner to show loads of pictures and we haven't even met him yet. <laughs> that's so judgmental <laughs> he has no visible weapons except for the knife with which he is cutting his cheese it's a dream cheese <laughs> he notices you standing there and hails you good day fighter will you share my cheese <laughs> as he speaks you feel the brass ring grow hot oh god <laughs> this is uh, a teen drama right now Warning you of evil, you realise that the man is a thief. I'm a bad dad now. Will you attack him, ignore him, accept his invitation and sit down? So so he's evil basically. He's evil. Attack him, ignore him, accept his invitation and sit down. I think if we ignore him he's going to rob something. He's also going to rob something if we sit down. I think we should Let's just kill attack him. him. Let's go for it. Let's battle yeah. this guy. Okay? Have you got a leprechaun picture? No. I don't think it was on the quote of the Scorpion's one, unfortunately. So, in fact, uh, right, so... Oh, was that clearing nine? Yes. Uh, did we go... We went west. west. Yeah. I just need to... Oh, it's not on there again. It is. Oh, You're it drawing is. like seven pounds on the map. <laughs> <laughs> You've undone them all. It's, I've, I've undone them. So. You haven't? No, I have. Have I not? you got something there. There we go. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't have the map. Rocky. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so nine and that's Hey Odium! Hey Odium, how you doing? So we're gonna attack him two six seven. So we should be able to do the stats a lot easier this time. Uh, you hear you hear a hiss of anger and the thief is upon you. He only Ooh, has a dagger, but he fights viciously for your ring. Skill ten, stamina nine. You may not escape. 
but the thief is attacking you furiously if you kill a thief turn of 3 6. So, um. I've drawn a little hat with a feather in it. Let's use the left again. Nice. So, I do think we have like a bandit, so let me just have a look for him. Uh, that'll do. He's pretty good. Nice, okay. And skill is 10, which is pretty high. What? Oh, I pressed the wrong one. You fool. Ooh, shit. Ooh, excuse me. And his stamina is nine. Yeah, so last time we were having some issues because we had to hold the button down to get the stamina off and it took so long. Now we've sorted it, hopefully. So This is the test. And this will be the test. So we're good to go. So let's fight him. Okay. Let's we'll put the book somewhere. Are we rolling both at the same time? Yeah, let's roll all dice at the same time. So we, oh, we lost the skill point, didn't we? So basically, when did we lose the skill point? We lost it somewhere. No, because we started with twelve, and then we went down to eleven. So we've got eleven. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Eleven is the. Lost oh point. yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, we need to get one more than them essentially. Yeah. Which we didn't. So he's won that round. Okay, so here we go. Perfect. Oh, there's no blood. Oh, I just, oh yeah, I didn't press it. Yeah, <laughs> we will figure it out. We will get there eventually. It should be still faster. Here we go. Yay! Okay, that's a win for us, so... There we go. We just have to mess around with a few buttons to get that blood going. But get the blood pumping. <laughs> the ring is hot. Five and a three. Eight plus... That eight. even? Oh, so no, you win. we win, so. Yeah. I'm getting pro on this stream deck with multiple button presses. He's beating us. Look at that blood. Look deck to get the blood flow. Yeah. Well, you got to do, Tomcat. <laughs> What's going on? I think we should have a lucky drink. Lucky drink? Go yeah, on then. Slow we... down all the button presses. Uh. Oh, we've got we've got three rounds to get him. We've got a one. But we beat him. We beat him. Yes. That's a win. What's he down to? One. I missed to get tipsy redeemed so bad. I am trying to, well, I keep saying that, I, yeah. I want to stream You will get back to it, but it'll be more of a casual thing. If you, yeah, you yeah, I'm going to be getting drunk all the time. Yeah. Six, eight plus nine. So we're even? Yeah, we're even. Everybody in the corner. Yeah, nine. we Here beat we him. He's, he's dead. dead. Yes, he's nice. dead. Nice. So let me get rid of him. Back to business. There we go. Matt can go for now. Yep. We'll be back in a second. Okay, uh, if you kill a thief, turn a three at six. Did you finish reading the, the full thing before? Yes, I did. It was you just can't escape. Okay, I feel like we've got a we got a bigger. So, I just don't want it to sound weird. Okay, we've got a bigger grasp on the this book now. Yes. Usually, I take a pause in between words, and it ends up. We've <laughs> got a bigger grasp on the deck. <laughs> The body of the thief lies at your feet. He was not as clever as he thought he was. You examine his pack. Do we get to take his cheese? I don't know yet. We're looking at his package. <laughs> the only thing you find that looks useful is a large red cloak, which you may add to your own possessions if you like. Munching a bit of cheese yeah. you took from his picnic basket, you that continue on your way. <laughs> Would you just eat some like stranger's uh, food with you? In medieval fantasy world probably would yeah okay so we just need to add a red cloak and some dream cheese i don't think we get we've officially got cheese we can't even have a vanilla root that could have gone wrong <laughs> um no the dream cheese stays on our hidden list in case we do get captured and we can keep it forever yeah our hidden list yeah our hidden list our cache <laughs> we did actually have a cache and it was great it was great uh, turn to one seven nine. Nice. A cash. So what's what is nine there? The grass. 
Nine is uh, a leprechaun hat with a feather in it. Oh. Huh. Silly. Uh, where were we? Which one was it? Oh, I can't remember. One seven nine. There are three paths leading away from the clearing. The northern one seems to slope downwards. Will you go north, south, or east? So east is back to thirteen. Yeah. So we don't want to do that. Um, north is where we do need to go. It's okay. I'm on it. I'm just sorting this. Out. Okay. Um, north. So we can either go north or south, basically. Or south. Yes. Should we go north? Because that's where we need to go. I just don't want it to be like one of those ones where you get to the end and you don't have everything. Oh, maybe Well, if you can retrain your steps, maybe you can just keep going back. So we could just go north, right? Or should we risk going uh, south to find some information and then go back up? I feel like we're just trying to get somewhere on this quest, though. So yeah. we might not need anything. Should we just go north? Let's go north, then. Okay, yeah. So, 183, I'll read that. You just keep on to the map. As you walk along the path, the ground becomes rocky and the path slopes upwards instead of dismal trees you see the sky ahead of you. You emerge on top of a high cliff overlooking the murky, foul-brewed river. You're in clearing 20. Oh, okay. It is at least 20 metres down to the river and the cliff is too steep for you to climb down. Below you can see huge crocodiles <gasps> sunning themselves in the water. Far to the east you can see a bridge which appears to cross the river, but no trail leads along the river bank in that direction. Two trails leave the clearing. Will you walk south into the swamp? That's where we came from. Yeah. Walk west along the river. Okay. Dive into the river and swim north. Oh! Past the crocodiles. You want to do that? I don't know. It's quite it's exciting. Dive so into river. the river and swim east. So, you can. There's another river. Mm hmm. Do you want to put the map on? Oh, yeah. So, there's another river. We're at 20. So, we can either go basically west. Yep. Or we Down can side. go north through the river. By swimming across the crocodiles. And there's crocodiles. Can we fight in the water? I doubt that. But, or we can swim east. Ooh. So there's three options. Yeah. Well, four. We can go back into the swamp. Unless you want to go west again. Walk west along the river. Uh, it's probably the safest option, but it depends if you want to go swimming. We do need to go west, I guess. So. so you can go east through the river as well. You can you can either walk west across the river, or you can dive into the river and swim to the east. Oh, not the north. No, you can do both. You can swim to the north as well. Oh. They well, sound... we don't want to go east. No, they both sound pretty perilous. North or walk. Should we west? walk across the river to check the safe bet and just cover the map? Yeah, even though that might not be the safe bet in the end. But no, but we can retread our steps, I guess, if we survive. We do want to go west anyway. So. Yeah. So I'll turn to two nine five to go west along the river. <laughs> you find yourself in a small opening on the bank of the Foul Brood River. You are in clearing 33. The opposite bank is at least 200 metres away. Good job we didn't. Yeah, that's a long way to swim with crocodiles. You see crocodiles and other creatures in the water. Will you walk east along the riverbank to where we just came from? Mm -hmm. Turn to the south. Oh, I'll cast an ice spell on the river, which we don't have. That's fine. There'll be another go south then, haven't we? There'll be another way across. Right. Well, you, we can go back east as well. You hold this page, 2.05, so we're in clearing 33. Yeah. We might as well go south. We might as well try and just clear the map as much as possible. Yeah. I don't know how long this book is. I feel like we could potentially do it quite quick. My bloody notifications are screwed. Oh, that sucks, John. Good hey, to see you John! anyway, dude. Um, you made it, though. We did, I, I don't know if it's Twitch notifications, but I, I suppose... Well, I would say you could get notifications on Twitter. But then you'd have to see all the other boring stuff that you're probably not interested in. Um, it's 33, so yeah, we can either go back east, go south, or cast an ice spell, which we can't. So let's just go south. Okay. The more we cover this map, the more we unload. So. Yeah. 94. That ice spell. Well, we'll, we'll just know for next time, won't we? The trail dips down and you see a swirling mist. The smell is vile and you hold your breath, but before you get out of the mist, you're forced to breathe. Lose two stamina points from the effect of the swamp fog. What? I 
Okay. Um, if you travel to the north, turn to 295. If you're going south, turn to 320. So it'll be like where you came from, I guess. We're going south now, aren't we? Yeah, 320. 320. It's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> we might be after that mist, though. Inhaling all this. This book is pretty short and very easy to read. Do you use smart notifications? I don't know what they actually Speaking do. Speaking to the wrong people here, John. Well, yeah, this book is short and easy to read. Yeah, it seems like it could be quite a quick one, but I think it's actually really fun. And if we do end up finishing this one really quick, we could potentially do the other quest lines. Yeah. The evil one. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good, actually, yeah. The path dips slightly downwards and leads into a grassy clearing. This is clearing 29. Mm -hmm. If you've been in, blah, 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 blah. in the middle of the clearing lies a white creature. At first you think it's a horse, but when it turns to face you, you realise that it is a unicorn. Nice. Really picture of a unicorn. It appears to be wounded. Great claws marks score its flank, but it gets to its feet and lowers its horn, snorting a challenge. Will you run away? Fight it or cast a spell. I don't want to fight it. Are there the options? Yeah. Run away, fight it or cast a spell. Yeah. What oh, we've got illusion. We've got illusion, skill and stamina. We might as well see what the spells are. I don't think Steve Jackson, us or US ever really got to what like, ever really got to put his torturous ways in the book. 29, I'm just going to draw a horn. <laughs> that could be anything. <laughs> For the first time ever, you guys can actually see some of the weird stuff that we draw down, but we're actually keeping it uh, quite tame. Usually, there's all kinds of weird letters and text and images written on these things. That's magic splitting out of that one. Uh, Get grips with the format. What, with like the, the whole way the map works? Oh no, we don't have any of the spells. Friendship, fear. Bless and fire, so no, different blessings on the good so, one. Right, we're gonna have to fight the unicorn. I'll take a look, Odium. Yeah, we can, I mean, we can run away. We might as well fight it. Do you know, do you not know Harry Potter? What happened when we'll you killed? We'll be cursed. Him? Does it give you a half life? Yeah, a cursed life. <laughs> is that Harry Potter lore, or is that real unicorn it's real. lore in real life? It's real life. So, so are we gonna fight it? Yes, yeah. We gotta find out one way or another. Two, two, one. I'm sad that we're doing this. You draw your sword and await the unicorn's charge. Unicorn skill eleven. Stamina four. Oh, it's making four stamina. You are fortunate that the creature is already badly wounded. You must fight it for two rounds. Then, if you choose, you may escape if you slay the unicorn no. through 277. That's bad. That's like telling us we should run away and not kill the unicorn. I think it's worth doing a forfeit for. What do you mean? What, do you want to should, kill it? I think we should fight it. Kill it? And then fight it. And, and if we don't it. like it, we'll, yeah, and then we'll forfeit and escape. I think we're going to get to a page and be like, did you kill the unicorn? And then we can use our dream cheese to undo the killing yeah well we're gonna if, if we don't like it we'll go back anyway we've not had a forfeit so far so let's fight the unicorn uh i don't and kill it i don't have a unicorn picture i have why didn't you think to get a unicorn picture here he is <laughs> there look the horn's just off camera just slightly twitch notifications can be quite bad for me too john like getting a notification after the stream started yeah Maybe it's just because we've not streamed for so long that like it's, it's it's really taking its time to sort of get into people's feeds again. I don't know how it works, but hopefully yeah. you guys can see it and we'll try and let you know a bit a bit sooner. In like yeah, on, we tend to like you tend to like tweet out like it's because we don't exactly a minute before yeah we, we don't do usually it. know exactly when we're going to be doing it and it's got a lot of stuff to sort of look for and so either way right let's fight this big unicorn man. It's a unicorn. So his <laughs> skill is eleven. And his stamina is four. It's the worst unicorn. <laughs> That's why he's easy to kill, because look at him. So his skill is 11. Maybe he's riding the unicorn. Possibly. So, right, we're going to fight him. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to do two rounds with this guy. I guess that's regardless. No, that's if you want to run away. I thought we were killing him. Oh, okay. Well, it's two rounds if we kill him anyway. Yeah. Okay, here yeah, we go. Okay. Are you going to say that quote then? No, I wasn't. So, yeah, we, we hurt him. Okay, let's go again. 
That's the noise the unicorn makes when you stab it. <laughs> I'm having to do like hell diver combos to get the blood and the text and the numbers wrong. <gasps> oh, he hurt us. Did he? Yeah. How do we get our health back, by the way? Uh, we have got a. S oh no, we've got a stamina potion. We can get half our stamina. We're gonna need it. Oh boy. Oh, we better win this next one. We might be drinking a bit sooner. Oh, come on! Oh, we did. Should we take a spell now? Let's take a massive chug. Yeah. We got. We got to learn that map. Either way. Right. Was it 20, our original base score? I don't know. I feel like it was. I feel like it was 20, so we, so we, we gained get 10. 10. Back, so our stamina is 12, but we just lost 2, so our stamina is 10. Yes. We paused time with the dream cheese and drank our potion. Yes. Okay. Here we go. 6 and a 4, 6 and a yeah, 1. Yeah, we killed him. Glad I just got a, a new base. Oh, we never awesome. cheers to Odium. Here we go. What you got? Anything cheers. good? Cheers, Odium. I didn't even touch glasses when I put it next to the mic. Oh. Beautiful. Tactical cheese, yeah. Okay, so we killed the unicorn. So we're going to hold this page and I will find out if we get cursed or not. Okay. The unicorn is dead. Knowing that the, the horn of the unicorn has great magical powers, you cut off its horn and put it into your pack. If you would like to leave now, turn to 348. If you choose to stay and search the clearing, go to 86. Oh, I see if we cut a unicorn's horn off. Yeah, but it's valuable stuff. I wonder what's inside it. Bone marrow. <laughs> unicorn marrow. You get to siphon it out. The regular duke. Nice. Should we stay <laughs> and find out what's in the clearing? Yes. You I, just... <laughs> I don't know what you were just doing. I, I can hear noises. <laughs> 86. <laughs> oh, we're not actually eating it, are we? We just put it in our pack. Yeah, we're not eating his horn. Not yet. What are we doing? Oh. Uh, going back to the main page and putting a unicorn horn in our bag. Oh, yeah. I forgot we had items. Oh, we're, so we're searching the clearing. Yes. Oh, what's our luck on 10? Did we not already test our luck on this thing? No, we didn't, did we? No. Test your luck. If you're lucky, turn to 189. If you're unlucky, you find nothing, to turn to 348. Okay, so at least there's no forfeit. But like, there's nothing bad. Yeah. But hopefully we find something good. Yes! Okay, did we already use the luck? No. We're using it now. Yeah, but we've already done luck roll, haven't we? No, it's just stamina. No, earlier we did a luck roll. Did we? Sure, we did. Okay, let's take two luck off then. I think. Are you sure? Uh, did we not? Yeah, we jumped over the scorpion. Yes, that was a luck roll. That was stamina. Was Maybe. it? Yeah, it was actually. So, yeah, let's get one back. Yeah, that's okay. good. Yeah, that's right. Oh, we haven't, we haven't found him. 189. 189. Have you missed being drunk while reading these books? Yes. <laughs> At the base of the tree, near the edge of the clearing, you notice a spot that seems to have been disturbed. You dig and find two spell oh, gems. Yeah. One for friendship. Oh, so this one does actually have a, a nice. cause. So we find a friendship spell and one for restore luck. We might as well just not use that yet. Add the spells to your adventure sheet and turn to free for it. So I'll yeah. add that to my notepad. Yeah, so we've got we a have, friendship spell. Which is probably good if using them with the unicorn right <laughs> yeah we could uh, dig the unicorn up yeah we can shake hands with him yeah, wake up maybe we can use that on the wolf man three four eight it's got to be direction Stella, friendship there are four exits mm -hmm. will you go north south east or west God. Right. Well, let's get the map back up so you guys can see. You've made two screens. Yeah, I know. I have to find out where I am on the page. North, south, east, or west. So north takes us back up to 33. Yeah, which we don't have an ice spell. Oh, I know. So I'm guessing that will take us back to the leprechaun man. 
Oh, I don't know, because there might be something in between. Oh, should we try it out? Oh, I hope not, because that's going to mess my map up. So let's, should we try it out, then? Should we try and go east? I'm sure we've been to 10. Let me just check. I think that is right. All right, just have a quick look. I'm going to be annoyed. I think it's pretty simple, like, in its way of doing it. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. That's different. Oh, no. Is that five? No. So that's different. Okay, I've got a little area. Should we check that one out? Just in... Really? That's the opposite direction. We want to really go. Okay, then. We'll go west. Let's go west. North, south, east, or west. Yeah, let's go west. Okay, yep. so we're going to 204. I'll read it so you can get your map sorted out. The path becomes wider by degrees, and you can see flowers growing here and there. This is clearing 23. Okay. If you've been here, 10 to 250. If you're not, keep reading. But you feel the hairs on your back and neck begin to stand up. Something is wrong. Your brass ring is warning you of evil. You look around and see nothing but the pretty flowers. Growing thickly along the path, you then remember the old stories of the fear flowers. You know that the flowers themselves are frightening you. Their pollen induces terror. You are shaking. Now lose one skill point. What? No. I'm going to do them red flowers then. Yeah, maybe put like a red X or something next to them as well. Well, we might have to go here. Well, yeah, let's see what happens first. Yeah. So, um, so we can either try to run past the flowers Attack them with our sword or cast a magic spell. We have a spell of friendship, and we have illusion, but the flowers. So it not. might be worth using. It might be worth trying to. No, friendship no, let's not waste it. Should we see what the spells are anyway? Because it'll just take us back. To yeah. Okay. Anyway. So let's see what the spells we can use are. Which spell will you use against the fear flowers? Fire, wither, or? Go back to where we were, no, so we, we can't use them anyway. Either. So wither is probably a good one to keep for this. Although you use a, you lose a skill point regardless. So oh, I kind of want to run past them, but I just feel like I'm just trying to think if we do fight them, if there is something there as well. Should we try and fight them? I just hope they don't like just keep growing back or something weird. Because we used we used um, our sword on the crab grass, which worked. Yeah. But is that going to be the only flowers that? work surely you can chop some flowers up with your sword let's try it let's try it okay. attack him with our sword 32 let's see what happens 32 i like your irish accent 32 there goes all our irish <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> all 500 of them <laughs> you chop at the flowers with your sword but there are more of them than you can destroy you are rapidly exhausting yourself lose two stamina points and one skill what was this for fighting them yeah, should we oh. run away? Should we take a big drink and run away? Yes. Oh no. What? Oh, it's here. Yeah, let's take a big drink. Okay, do we'll that. do that. Yeah, we are. Just for the record, she's pushing the cheats, not me. But then we work together. I agreed to it. I'm just a feeble man. You're a weak man. You're a weak man. That goes all our. Uh... Is that Irish? That's Irish as well. <laughs> You're a weak man. Oh. Yeah, that's from yeah, uh, what show was that from? The Fall. <laughs> Unrelated. Uh, so that was trying to use our sword, wasn't it? Two, yeah, six, so run away. 269. You gotta say it like that if it ends. <laughs> Just for the record. <laughs> the fear intensifies and you run away from the fear flowers. Lose another skill point. When you uh, pass the ball to the flowers, the fear subsides. So we will lose that one because. We're probably going to do a rerun at some point. Yeah, guys. just some flowers. I thought that Odium's cat emoji was on our map then. I, like, <laughs> I wish it was. You did a really was. good job there. <laughs> okay. Um, three, six, seven. Three, six, seven. <laughs> You're going to say that for every page we turn to now? No. That would be ridiculous. Okay, there are two exits from the clearing. If you want to go north, 10 to 3 or 4. If you want to go east, 10 to 2, 6, Or east is going to be back where we just came from. Yeah, so we so. can only go north, which is where we want to go anyway. Yeah. If you want to go north, 10 to 3 or 4. As you continue north, the swamp seems to change in character. It becomes less gloomy and more like a tropical jungle. Mm. Brightly coloured birds flit through the trees. This is clearing 14. That's nice. Ahead of you, on a low branch, sits a huge red and yellow parrot. As you come nearer, it speaks to you. 
Who are you and what is your business with the mistress of birds, he asks. He oh asks, my. will you attack the parrot or ask to meet its mistress? I want to see the mistress. Yeah, this guy who's having great fun with Checking his parrots. Checking this big bird from Sesame Street. Yeah, but it's also a man in a suit. Who's... <laughs> it's, a, it's a female, it's a mistress. Yeah, it doesn't have to be. Okay. So I missed some cheats happening. Um, we Ooh, took a four. Really well, cheat? No, because we forfeited fighting the the flowers, but we still <clears> lost <throat> the skill point on the other option anyway. So we basically screwed ourselves either way. Okay, so ask to meet the mistress. One, three, one. She's coming in Paris. Where? Getting where? Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you want to get to the page? I'm on the other. I like to draw. <laughs> <laughs> it says that we maybe should put this case out of board games and put it into like art oh, or something. Okay. One, three, one. Oh, look at her. Oh, I didn't even see her. Yeah, right. No wonder you were on the page for so long. <laughs> I didn't actually look at the page. <laughs> the parrot fixes you with the beady eye. Just walk forward. She knows that you are coming. <laughs> She knows. You go through a screen of low palm trees and find yourself in a beautiful glade. Thousands of coloured birds fill the air and the surrounding trees. Great herons and eagles stalk about. Seated on a low pedestal in the midst of the splendour is a lovely woman who you know must be the mistress of birds. She greets you by name and asks you your business. Your reply, of course, depends on your patron. Is it Poom Trucker? Selator? <laughs> I'm from Grimsdale. <laughs> I'm from Poomchucker. I've got a feeling that I'm, I'm going with the the idea that Poomchucker is the Radagast the Brown, and I feel like she's one with nature. So I feel like oh, Poomchucker yeah. is actually a good option for this. So, hey, awesome people. Hey, Winter. Hey, How are you doing? Poomchucker is definitely neutral. He's Radagast, isn't he? Yeah, I like him. Something about him. Was he the weird big guy? Guy on the chair. Yeah, yeah. he looked quite evil actually. The brass ring feels cold towards the mistress. Oh, wow. You know that the mistress of birds is a good wizard. She explains your quest and asks for help. She shakes her head. The merchant, that merchant is very foolish. Even if he gets his map of the swamp, some of my brother wizards are evil and will try to plunder his caravan. But you are brave and I will help you avoid the worst part of your journey. 10 That's to 248. Nice. That's nice of it. Mm. So he's going to pillage these lands if we give him the map. We've got to take them out. Oh. Okay. She gives a strange piercing cry. It seems to echo among the trees. <laughs> that was about the noise she made. I have just summoned a great eagle whom I ride when I travel. He, he will not carry you like a common steed, but if I command it, he will take you back to his nest, which is on the other side of the foul brood river. Nice. Oh, that's where we need to go. <laughs> It will save you many hours of dangerous travelling. When she finishes speaking, you hear a beating of wings. An enormous eagle lands beside you. You cannot understand what she says to it, but abruptly it springs into the air. Its talons clutch you firmly around the waist, and its wings beat thunderously. In an instant, the clearing is far below you. The eagle flies northeast. Below you see... Right, I'll have to make a note of that. Below you see other clearings and then the wide greenish expanse of the Falbrood River. Great crocodiles are visible and other monsters. Then the eagle flies down into do you, the... Do you think, because it keeps saying there's the crocodiles and other monsters, do you think that's a warning that if you swim to the east you're going to find other monsters? Maybe. We don't need to go east though, so... No. The eagle flies down into a clearing where there is a single tall tree containing a huge nest made out of branches. The eagle deposits you on the ground and flies away. You are in clearing 16. And this is the big eagle. Nice. This is how big he is. This is us looking very fine. Good day. It's just after 6.30 a.m. in Sydney. Just listening while getting ready for work. Ah, awesome. Good morning, uh, Rhyme Master. Entertaining way. So we're in clearing 16. Mm -hmm. We've been dropped off so by... So you've got to draw an eagle now. Yeah, and... Where's my little thingy? I've got to find out where I am there. Okay, so he's flown us over the river. Yeah. To here? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, I 
Test them. <laughs> Did he not just go straight? I don't know. Oh, well, that's where we are now. Anyway. Uh, you're in clear in 16 to 202, so you do that, I will see what happens at 202. Maybe yeah. we'll end up in a different clearing, or maybe that is just 202. Okay, you have no reason to linger. You have a choice of three paths. Will you head south, east, or west? South, east, or west? Yeah, look at that eagle. His beak's a bit big, but... South, so south is going to be back to the river, which we don't really want. Unless there's something down there we don't know about. So, where can we go? South, east, or west? From the island. West. Hours. South. We don't want to go south. Do we go west? Yeah, because we, we do know it's northwest. I don't know how far west. We might have passed, like, passed by it, but we'll see. Yeah. Okay, 14. Yeah, we need to go like more north and less west. If we can. Do we know that? Well, we have it just to said north and west. I don't know how okay. far north we're supposed to go. I feel go. like we've gone a lot west. Gone a lot west. <laughs> the trail takes. Did you say forty? I see. You just sailed the foot. Yeah, we we put the uh, the output back down to 1080p just because honestly I didn't even realise it was uh, doing that. Hopefully it runs a bit smoother for you now. Could the eagle not fly? Oh, he could just take us like. Oh yeah, he could yeah, take us. Yeah, why did he just deliver us to where we needed to go? I don't know. They've got a barrier. The trail takes you to a small open spot where years ago a great tree fell and dragged down several others. This is clearing 32. Mm -hmm. uh, as you approach, you hear the sound of fighting. You step around a tree to see a giant scorpion fighting a dwarf who is wearing leather armour. The dwarf is in trouble. As you rush towards the fight, the scorpion catches the dwarf's neck in one of its claws and throws him to the ground where he lies still. You doubt that you have any magic spells which would be worth using on this enemy. If you leave the clearing while the monster feasts on the dwarf, turn to 88. We're going to have to save him, aren't we? He's dead! Uh, I don't know. If you attack... Sh should we fight the scorpion anyway? And then we can uh, pillage the dwarf's body if he That's... was dead. I think that's worth doing. He might not be completely dead. If you attack the giant scorpion, turn to 312. So we're at clearing 32, and there's another scorpion. I had zero issues with 4K, though. I only mentioned it because I was surprised you could do that. Yeah, did could you, can you tell the difference? I mean, obviously, this is a picture background. Obviously, if you're playing on a game or something, it might make a difference, but could you, was it any clearer or not? Because, yeah, I've never seen anyone actually say that they can stream 4K. <laughs> it's... It probably wasn't even 4K. Okay, so. I took screenshots just in case. Oh, perfect. Man. Nice. So, yeah, just is there a difference? Okay, so. We are attacking the giant scorpion, right? Yes. Is that. What's that? It's a, a dwarf fighting a scorpion. Oh, yeah. Oh. You can't tell? Uh, I can tell he's a, a dwarf. How would you make him into a dwarf? What happened? <laughs> no idea. A big ginger beard. Okay, the giant scorpion lifts its claws menacingly. It is not badly wounded. Evidently, the dwarf was not a very skilled fighter. Giant scorpion. Skill 9, stamina 10. If you decide to escape, turn to 88. If you kill a giant scorpion, turn to 3, 2, 4. So, so let's fight him. Yeah. So, we're going to have a fight. We can get rid of the, uh, what was that, the unicorn? That's the unicorn. The unicorn can go. We're now fighting... An actual scorpion that yeah, we have! Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's the first time for everything. The, the book was called uh, swamp, Scorpion Swamp, so I managed... You say Swamp Scorpion. Yeah, <laughs> Swamp Scorpion. He stinks. I managed to get a scorpion anyway. So his skill is... He's not fighting a dwarf, though. Nine. It's a hyena. I think should... <laughs> That's us. <laughs> I didn't see that. I couldn't crop that out because I wanted his claw in there. Okay, his uh, skill is nine, and his stamina is ten. Oh, oh. oh, he's equal to us. Oh, we've lost so many points. Dun dun dun. Okay, let's go. So it's us versus El Scorpio. Hey, I don't want to jinx it. The dice box has not. The cam has not it failed, is it? It's that resolution change. It's, it is noticeable, but the stream is pretty stacked, so I guess it was easy to encode in 4K. I mean, I would, I'd have to try it with um, an actual game or something, but I, I feel like it would probably just harm the performance. 
Oh, why do you do that? Eight. So we have to get even, right? Yeah, so he's beaten us. Don't you have a skill crystal? What's a skill crystal? Oh, we do have a skill crystal. Do Our we? spell. We, we still have skill. Ah. What did we start with? 12. So you'd only get 9, 10, 11. We'd get back to 11 because you can only add half, round it up. Which is 6. Right? Oh, so we can add it. We could put it back up to 12. Yeah, I think you could. Yeah, that's what that makes sense, right? Should we do that? Should we take a big drink and do and use our skill crystal? Yeah, because if it is quite a short, thank yeah. you so much yeah, for reminding that. us. Yeah, with the way this one is actually going as well, I do think if it is relatively short, we we... isn't. <laughs> we're making a really <laughs> professional move. Right now. I thought it was <laughs> cheating. <laughs> no, we're not cheating. We're using no. our thing. If this is short and we do complete it today or very soon, then uh, yeah, we I think we will go back and do the evil quest line. Uh, you're only yeah, we we're using um, actually less. We were using we had it to seven thousand just as like an overhead, but now it's back to six thousand just in case so to stop the camera crashing. But we'll see. Right, what are we doing? We are eating our spell, our skill spell. And getting it back up to 12, and then we're re rolling and starting this fight again. Yes. Because Winter's reminded us that we yeah, have perfect. a spell. Okay. On the battle, are we ready to roll? Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> <I just can't... laughs> Yay! Wait. Yes. He beat him. Is he dead? <laughs> no, we've just harmed him. <laughs> Here we go. Um. 40, 16, 20, 18, 18 plus... I think we beat him. Um, no, I don't know about that. Ones. We're at 18, he's at 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, evens. Even, okay, that's not so bad. Yes, we beat him. Oh, it's so much easier when we have the multiple buttons for it. Yeah, we beat him again. I think we should just be like better, better, worse. <laughs> A caveman speech. Oh, okay. 12. Nine plus. 17. We got. He's beaten us. No, we got 17. Yeah, yeah. look what he got. Oh, I thought, oh, we got 17. He got 18. We need to do the blood. It's important when we get there. There we go. <laughs> Oh, and again. It's very complex doing all of those things at once. Well, it's not, but that's a win. Yes. That's the noise the scorpion made when we hit him. Woo! You want me to send you? Yeah, sure. Why not? Um, do we have Discord? Link to it. Send it to Tipsy's Discord if you have it. Of course, he has it. Oh, that's a lot. Yes. <laughs> We're only on four stamina points. Mm. We still got... He got. He's only on two. There you That's go. He's win. dead. He's dead. Okay, we won him. Um, we don't have a stamina potion anymore, do we? No. If you kill a scorpion, turn to three, two, four. This is where he, the, the dwarf, comes back to life and revives us completely. How does he do that? He's a dwarf. With so the... how does he do oh, it? Oh, we use the magical unicorn horn and the dream cheese. It's like uh, in Harry Potter when he has the diary and the and the basilisk fang. We stab the unicorn horn into the dream cheese. Oh! And we are completely rejuvenated. And then it melts into our skin. Yeah. The monster is dead. You look at the dwarf. How do you go to the main page? He does not seem to be breathing. Will you leave the clearing immediately? Use a blessed spell on the dwarf. I wish we had that. A blessed spell? Yeah. We've got friendship. Can we not give him mouth to mouth? Search the body of the dwarf. So he's definitely dead. He's dead. Oh, I wonder if you can revive him with a blessed spell. Definitely. Either way. Okay, let's search his body anyway. He's dead. We can't do anything about it. 42. The moral compass of, oh, we can revive him. We can't revive him. Oh, let's steal everything he has. <laughs> You look through the belongings of the unfortunate dwarf to see there is if there's anything that you can use. His armor, of course, is too small for you. But in his pouch, you find a small vial of potion. If you drink it, turn to two, two, five, three. Right, let's do it. Yeah, let's drink it. Two, five, three. Reading. 
You just like sped through those pages like this. Like, how am I supposed to read anything? You drink the potion. Immediately you begin to feel very strange. It was a potion to make you handsome, but it was designed for dwarves. For the next hour, you will be somewhat shorter and stockier oh, than usual, no. and your nose will be very big. <laughs> Does that have the effect with wear off? Oh no, reduce your skill by one for your next combat. Should only for one combat. Drink? It's only one combat, unless we're at the final boss. What if it is the final boss? No, let's take let's take it off. If we need it, we'll drink and get it back. Okay. Oh yeah, we're at twelve. It's okay, that's fine. We're a We were at nine in a minute. That's so yeah. good. Of age 88, two I fat feel, ladies. We've we been to 88. No, I just keep seeing it. You leave the clearing. If you go north, turn to 121. If you go east, go to 131. So, uh, where are we? Uh, we're here. So, we can either go north or east. I wonder if east will take us back. Probably. We've got to go north then. Yeah, let's go north then. So, we go north to 121. That we didn't even need to fight the scorpion then. We could have just walked past it. Yeah, I think just assuming it was Scorpion Swamp, he was like the big bad. But, but but then what if we could heal him and get something really good? Uh, you find yourself at a crossing of paths. Which way will you go? North, south, east, or west? Hmm. So we're at a crossroad. Are we at a crossing now? No, yeah. we're not crossing a. Um... North or west? We're getting quite close to the top of the so map on the screen, so... Can... Go on then, let's go north. Or do you, are you saying that because you want to go west? I would have said go west just because we, we're getting close to the top of the map on our paint. But we're nearly dead. On our Microsoft paint. Um, Maybe we can find something to get our stamina back though if we go west. Let's try west. I mean, I, we've got four stamina and the chances that we come into like the final battle, we're probably going to lose. But we've gained so much information that we could go through if we do die with more information. So let's go west. 218. The path widens into another clearing. You are in clearing 15. You see that there is one other path leading out. Then off to the side, you see the dim glow. It is a ball of dancing light, the will o' wisp. No. It hovers at the western edge of the clearing and then moves back a few meters. You can now see what may be another path, somewhat murky and overgrown where the will-o'-wisp is dancing. It seems to want to show you something. Will you follow it or go on? Is this Jan? It better not be Jan. I feel like backtracking and going north. Follow it to the west, ignore it and go south, ignore it and go east. Do we go back east? I feel like if we go south, we're just gonna... Maybe throw like a white ball so we know and then we'll go back. Then... Is that what you think a will-o'-wisp looks like? That's what it is. A white ball, I would say it's like a... A ball of dancing light. Okay. Maybe do it like, I don't know, you need... Bright yellow. Yeah. This is how I'm I gonna think, think it's the sun win. next time. I'm going to be like... Do you not remember him in like uh, Elder Scrolls Online, Skyrim? It was like yeah. crystals. Yeah, okay, I'll do it. Okay, go on. Okay. Um, let's go back east. At least we'll know that it's trying to guide us to something if we do come back here. Yeah. We still haven't killed the Master of Spiders to get his loot either. Okay, you find yourself at a crossing of paths again, so we're back at the same page, so north? No. 170. So I'll find a clearing. Hello. There he is. Who's this chap? What's he straddling? Let's have a look. I think he's just sat on a rock, but okay. it, it could be sat on um, a web beast. The path is narrow here and winds about to avoid some huge boulders. Go on. It is foggy and you cannot see far. Suddenly the fog lifts and you see that you have entered another clearing. You're in clearing 19. 19 is a bad omen. No, it's not. 19 good. From the top of a boulder, a man hails you. He is tall and bronzed, dressed all in green, and you know he must be a ranger. Ho, oh, fighter! He's a ranger's fan. He challenges you. Do you serve good or evil? Who is your patron? So we say Grimslade, Poomchucker, or Selator. Poomchucker, always. So we're in clearing 19, and we want to go to page 262. 
Ah, Queen Chaka. Okay. You ready? Yeah. I serve the merchant Poom Chucker, he replied. I don't know if he is very good or very evil. I am trying to make a map of the path through the swamp. If you haven't already been to Willowbend, turn to 166. Have you been to Willowbend? No, that's where we need to go. If not, turn to 115. So Willowbend's got to be down here, down there somewhere. Yeah. I like that Poom. It's odd <laughs> to think that when I was younger, Willow the Wisp is a friendly creature. but in a... No, it like lures you to, to death, doesn't it? Willow Wisps. You knew that. When we were about to contemplate following well, I it. I feel like in like Fable or something, it's a bad creature. I just remember them being those things that like shoot ice at you in Skyrim. Yeah, they're bad. That could be bad then. Uh, okay, so we don't. We've not been to Willowbend, so Willowbend has got to be somewhere around here. Around here, yeah. yeah. So one one five. Maybe he'll give us information. It's very bent sword. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Which page? Willow wasps. Willow will wasps. Will wasps. <laughs> and will the wisps are bad. Yeah. Which page? Okay. One one five. The ranger laughs. He appreciates your honesty. Well, then you need to find the willow bend. He says. Oh, you need to find willow bend. He says. Go south, then west at the crossing of paths. That's where we went. From there, just stay on the path and you will come to the town. But don't stray off the path. That'll be following the willow wisp. You reckon? Yeah. You th thank him and go on. Turn to page 234. Okay, so we need to go south and then west, but not follow the will of the wisp. 234. There are two paths leading out the clearing. If you go east, turn through five, you go south to 121. So 121, south? yeah. I'll make a note that we can go, what is it, east or west? East. East. Okay. So at the crossing of paths, we go... West. West to 218. This will take us back to the Willow Wisp. Should. Yeah, so we're back at 15, yeah. section 15. So follow it to the west, ignore it, go south, or ignore it and go oh, oh, did he say south? Did he say south? I remember south being in there. Ignore it and go south. Okay, three, three, six. It's got a whiff of eighties library book then. Is it because it's burnt? No, no, it's this. This is like an old school book, oh, right. and obviously we bought it second hand from somebody. It, it felt like an old eighties book for a second. Three, three, six. You're in a particularly marshy area. The ground squishes under your feet. The path bends slightly and runs alongside a large pool. You can see that there is one exit from the clearing. You're in clearing 28. Okay. Uh, the surface of the pool ripples nastily and green slime coats the water. You would never drink out of this pool, are you, you are sure. Suddenly, the scum on top of the pool seems to pull together. To your amazement, it heaves itself out of the water and onto the path, blocking your way. It is a viscous lump of slime. Two meters wide, which gives off a fetid odor as it oozes slowly towards you. Will you run away, try to jump over it, attack with your sword, or use a magic spell? So we might as well try and see what the spell is, right? Well, we've only got a friend here. Hey, we might make friends with her. So which spell will you try and use against the slime? Fire, wither, ice. Oh, that's so annoying. Do you reckon it would work? Ice, fire, probably. fire. Oh no. It's in water, so ice. Slime. Oh yeah, yeah. Ice and then cracking. So. Um, Balls. Sword. Or run. We've we only got go four this. stamina. Do we not need to go this way though? Yeah, we do. Should we. Uh, I've finished my drink. Should we. Take a, a checkpoint drink? And try and jump over it. Two meters. That's only six foot. Jump six foot. I sent you the screenshots. Like, Thank you. Thank you, audio. Um, drink, drink, drink. What would you do in this situation? Would well, you attack uh, it? We're gonna die because if we jump over it, we're gonna get stuck in it because it's two meters. But if we try and jump over it, at least we'll know if it's an insta fail. Okay, and then we can drink to fight it. Yes. And then drink to survive yeah. when we inevitably die. Yes, okay, okay. try to jump over it, 257. Let's see what happens. 
can't jump two meters high and two meter over it. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. True. Yeah, but we might be able to Takeshi's castle and bounce off its head. Roll two dice. If their sum total is less than or equal to your skill, you jumped right over the disgusting slime. That would be nice. Okay, if the sum is total or less than... Skill. If their sum is total... Is less than or equal to your skill. Okay, so we've got to roll less than 11. You just got to get... Oh, you can do it. Less than 6. Or 6. Oh, that was a big one. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Add 2 luck points. Oh, beautiful. And turn to page 153. I think our base is 10, so we'll just go to 10. 153 then. We jumped over the 2 metres time. It, it worked out well. White dwarfs can jump. You don't drink anyway. You leave the clearing as quickly as possible. If you go north, turn to 218. If you go west, turn to 65. So north will be back where we came from, right? Yeah. So west, 65. And what was it? A big ball of slime? Yeah. Big slime with eyeballs. I'm going to give him some little hands as well. Okay. The trail winds about, but you keep it keep to it faithfully, skirting the great shelf fungus and the tiny creatures dining on it. You approach another clearing. This is clearing 10. You can hear the sound of voices ahead of you. Cautiously, you peer around a tree. You can see a group of five men. Mm -hmm. You guess they are brigands from their dress and rough speech. The brass ring is not warm, so you know that these men are not really evil. On the other hand, there is no need to be foolish. Will you turn around and go back the way you came, charge at them, shouting and waving your sword. Friendship spell. Cast cast the spell from your hiding place. Step out confidently and greet them. Oh, greet them! The nice guys. We don't know that. Do we really want to waste a spell on them if they're not though? Our ring is not warm. We have a cold, neutral ring. We are not attracted to these five men. <laughs> Do you want to step out confidently as a forfeit, as a as a checkpoint? Yeah. Okay, we'll both drink for it. Take my drink. I'm out. Okay, you drink for it. We're going to step out confidently and see what the crack is, but that could be seen as foolish. Oh, I didn't think about that. You stride along the path into the clearing. They are surprised to see you, and even more surprised when you hail them casually and keep on walking. Where do you think you're going, they ask North, you reply. They are impressed by your coolness. The brigands are accustomed to demanding payment of passerby, but they are not murderers. Although they could attack you, the odds would be 5 to 1. They do not feel that like that would be very sporting. Finally, the leader suggests a solution. You and he will fight. The first one to hit the other will be declared the winner. Mm -hmm. If the brigand leader dra draws first blood, you must give him something of value. Opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> if you draw first blood, he and his men will let you go. Should we just go through with this? Yeah, let's do it. Save our spell. We can hit him. Skill 12. You agree that a single combat fought to first blood only, would be, so it's first hit, isn't it, would be an honourable way to settle the question. Mm -hmm. You and the brigand leader square off. The other men crowd around you, but they do not seem treacherous, merely excited. Look at him. I've not even seen him yet. He doesn't know what's coming. Brigand leader, skill 9, stamina 10. You fight only until one of you hits the other. He doesn't look extremely tough. Stamina, skill is 9, stamina 10. Stamina 10. He's wearing leggings. Yeah, skill 9, stamina 10. Uh, do we have... He's got a Poirot moustache. Yeah, he doesn't look very tough. Scorpion, thief, bandit. Be... Oh, bandit, maybe. I'm pretty sure I had like a an actual like, swordsman, but... Maybe we just couldn't fit on the stream deck. Okay. okay. So we first blood. Yeah, we just roll there. Rambo first blood. Ready? We have a black dice. Yeah. Oh, I thought you had all of them. Yeah. Ready? Three, go. two, one, go. Yeah. Um, if you hit the brigand leader first, ten to three sixty. Well struck, cries the brigand leader. 
clutching his arm where the blade nicked him. That was a good fight. One of his companions binds up his wound while another offers you water from his own flask. You will all laugh and joke as if you are old friends. Turn to two and four. Nice. That's good. Good choice. Bit of banter. They respected us for our confidence. No, the brigands are well disposed toward you. You, in the back. Okay, <laughs> you ask them where you are. They tell you that the town of Willowbend is only a little way to the north. Oh, okay. They add that of the three inns in town, the bent spear is by far the best. Yeah, health back with our three gold coins. And that you can trust the innkeeper of the bent spear. The bent spear. You say goodbye to the brigands and leave. Turn to page 19. So we need to go a little to the north and go to the bent spear. Oh, this is so good! I'm liking it. But how are we going to get back? We can follow the directions. Can we fast travel? See, not a lot of people talk about this one. I love this one! I know, probably because it's not been published in a while, but this is this is really good. I, yeah. I don't know how many, if you guys know in the chat or in the comments, if there's many books that have this sort of um, way of movement around the map and stuff, let us know, because we really like this one and not a lot of people speak about it. Okay. The eagle will take you back. <laughs> is, yeah, that, is that our fast summon. travel? Winners? There are two paths leading out of the clearing. The northern one is much wider and more distinct, as though many have travelled along it. We go north or east? We're going north, north, right? Yeah. Oh, we didn't do one. We don't know that, do we? We do. I'm not that good with books. To be fair, this is, yesterday was the first time we read a book in a long time. 280? 280. You follow the path northward, gradually it becomes wider and the swamp less dismal. The marsh slowly turns into forest and before long you see a sign ahead of you. This way to Willowbend. If you've been to Willowbend before, turn to 355. If you've not been here before, keep reading. A few minutes later you hear human voices and meet a party of foresters. Do we not have a section? No. You walk with them to the town of Will We're in Willowbend, that's the section. Mm -hmm. After your adventures, you only want to find an inn and get a good night's sleep. The foresters tell you that there are three inns in Willowbend. Will you go to the Black Bear, the Bent Spear, or Tancred's Flying Horse? Okay, hopefully they haven't just completely lied to us. I like to read chat, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, so okay. we're going north. We're going to go to the Bent Spear. I'm going to just make a drawing of a Bent Spear. Where? Yeah, on the map. I don't know where your icon is. Oh, right, I see sure, it now. Yeah. yeah. It's a bit speed. Is that where we are from 10? Yeah, we're, we're here. Okay, so we've got the Black Bear, the Bent Spear, or the Tancred's Flying Horse. We're going to go to the, uh, the Bent Spear just because they've told us it's a good place to hang out and chill and sleep. Okay. The Bent Spear is a pleasant, roomy inn. You pay the innkeeper a gold piece to go into your room. As soon as your head hits the pillow, you fall asleep and wake up the next morning feeling refreshed. You're getting two stamina points. Nice. Better than nothing. It's true. And we've only spent one gold. Oh, wrong one. I'll take 13 skill though. I know. What were we on? 11. Yeah. This is the only book with this mechanic. That's oh, a shame. That's I wonder if it wasn't very popular, so they didn't bother redoing it. So. I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like the concept might not have been... The Scorpion Swamp doesn't sound as exciting as Death Knight Dungeon. Maybe it just didn't do as well. Maybe it's something we can, uh, well, if we end up going or anyone asks Ian at um, the Fight Fantasy Fest in September. So we gain two stamina points. When you're about to leave, the innkeeper hails you. He knows that you came through Scorpion Swamp and that you intend to return the same way. You must be a mighty fighter to have come through the swamp, he says. And perhaps this is none of my business, but there is a wizard in the next street who might be able to sell you some spells to help you get back. Thanking the innkeeper for his kind suggestion, you ask for directions to the wizard and leave. If you visit the wizard, turn to 150. If you strike off south across the swamp again, turn to... Well, you do you have to go back? It looks like we have to go all the way back. No! To the so let's see if we can get any more spells. So we're going to see the wizard. We don't have any money though. We've got two gold pieces left. That is strange. I would have thought this would have been a really progressive way of continuing these books actually you know what though at least we've actually killed most things on the way yeah apart yeah. from the things we jumped over oh, which is quite a lot we have to jump <laughs> over them again <laughs> the scorpion 
The street leading to the edge of town is full of little shops and one sign catches your eye instantly. Halikar deal it in potions and spells. You go in. Halikar proves to be a pleasant young man. He's a neutral wizard and can sell only neutral spells. Oh, that's good. You do not have enough gold pieces to deal with him, but some of the items that you picked up in the swamp will interest him. You lay them on his table. Each of the following, if you have it, can be exchanged for one magical gem containing a neutral spell. A violet jewel. Nice. A gold chain. Any of the silver amulets from the masters, we don't get them, do we? Oh, a golden magnet or the horn of a unicorn. So we've okay. got two, so we can get two spells. Yeah. Have we used any more spells? We haven't, have we? No. Uh, no, we haven't, because we, we used, used, we've got... Oh, sh yeah. We used stamina spells, didn't we? Or yes. was it skill? Or was it luck? We, I think we used both. Did we? We used both, and we've only got one left, so we got the friendship one left. So let me just change these gems. So we've got two, so maybe maybe stamina and either fire or ice. Yeah. Decide which spells you want, list them on your adventure sheet, and mark off the items you traded for them. Then you leave the shop, going south, back into Scorpion's I, I think possibly the ice, in case we can just walk across the river, but I don't know if that's going to cover the whole And we can... Mm. The American Steve Jackson wrote this book. Yeah, I did see. I didn't know that was a different... When you said US Steve Jackson, I didn't know that's what you meant. The original Steve Jackson. An even better one is Grail Quest 2. It's one of my favourite non-fighting fantasy. It's basically a map of village numbers. We're going to have to check that one out as well. We'll, we'll have a look into that. Yeah. There are, I imagine there's millions of Steve Jacksons in the world. Okay. Do you want to leave it here or we pick our spells? I think this is a good point to leave it. So this is going to be the end of part two of our playthrough of Scorpion Swamp. I feel like we've made a massive, massive dent in this. Look at the map. We've made a lot of progress. We just need to make our way all the way back to the start. So we need to have a really good look at our map and see what areas we might need certain skills or spells in so um potentially we could be finishing this in the next part and if we do end up finishing this really fast if we end up getting right back to the beginning we will probably go ahead straight back into playing it again and doing the evil quest line so we'll just see what happens i hope you guys have enjoyed it let us know your thoughts down below in the comments section about have you read this one how you like in this format i really think this is really mm. a cool way which I'm... quest did you pick first as well like yeah yeah basically like good evil and neutral yeah so there's poom chucker there's grim slade and there's Salator. i think i remember that i'm just i'm just guessing but yeah i imagine a lot of people probably just went with like the good version first i i feel like going evil first is like the last thing on most people's minds but we're gonna do that next if we get a chance anyway so thanks guys and we will see you in part three very soon